I am going to do some finish work on this diorama. I've already laid some of the basic grass down. I'll show you some other images of it. But what I have to do now is add some grass tufts. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to add them in place. I'll first show you how I add some large, uh, tall grass around this bumper. Then I'll come down here and I'll add grass tufts in between the tracks. I use the same technique to add tall grass weeds along the edges of the walls. I do it here and I do it here. I'll show you that in an image. I'm not going to waste your time showing you that done because once you learn how I do it over here, you can pretty much do anything. We're going to start by adding some weeds, tall grass at the bumper, which is at the end of the track on the middle left hand side. I'm using a mixture of between 11 and 3 millimeter uh, grass. I cut it up and put it in a pile. I'll use the technique here of adding with my fingers. I add some white glue diluted to a good consistency. You use do your own uh, thing with this. I use an applicator, which is a uh, plastic bottle that is a discarded hair uh, dye bottle. Very convenient. I can shake it, keep it, keep my uh, glue clean and useful. Once I put the glue down, I take a brush and I tap it around. I don't worry about getting 100% coverage. I'm going to cover this with the grass with dirt eventually to fill in everything. Plus, if I don't get absolute 100% coverage, I get a more realistic look because the grass will be high, low, uh, there'll be gaps, just like you see in real life. So we'll go on now. Once I get the glue in place, then I'm going to go ahead and add the grass by hand. I add a small amount of grass with my fingers. Then I use the edge of my grass dispenser, the tea strainer dispenser, to tease it up. It brings it up nice and straight. I'll add a grass in a few tranches until I get the amount and the look that I like. Each time I use the edge of the static grass applicator tea strainer to tease it up. This is a very effective technique. I'm using it here. You can use it around fences, around bushes. Uh, adding that grass, you get something very localized. You don't have grass spraying all over the place. The uh, static grass applicator I'm using is linked below with information about it. And there's more information about using the various uh, dispensers that come with that static grass applicator. I highly recommend this. Look how nice I can tease that grass up and get a nice, tall set of weeds and grass on the end of that bumper. And here is a close-up look of what the final product looks like. Notice how clean and realistic that looks. Now we're going to add grass tufts in and around the track. The process is similar. I'll be using a mixture of one and two millimeter grass with a very small amount of three millimeter. I start by adding the glue. Now I'm going to speed the video up so I don't waste a lot of your time. But what we do is we add the video uh, glue uh, all along the area that we want to cover. We'll then use the static grass applicator tea strainer attachment, but this time I will 
drop the grass onto the glue. Now, again, I'm going to speed this up. I apply the grass liberally. I'm interested in good coverage. I'll vacuum this up later after I add the dirt. Now, whenever I make a tuft, I cover the tufts with dirt. It covers any exposed glue, and it really adds a lot to the effect. I did the same thing on the bumper previously. Let's go on with the condensed uh, version of adding the remainder of the static grass to, uh, to the uh, diorama. Uh, notice I still use the same glue. I apply it just as I did before. I spread it just as I did before. Then I add the grass. Again, I do it uh, very liberally. I want everything to be covered well. Now, after, again, after I add the grass, I go ahead and cover the uh, material with soil, uh, dirt. What I use is potting soil that I put into a, a blade type coffee grinder and cut it very fine, almost to the point of being powder. So this is what the grass looks like. I have a lot of finish work to do here, adding the trains, figures, shovels, but you can see the, the effect I've gotten by adding tufts. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a good day. Have a good life. Please give this a like. I'd appreciate it very much.